You say you want me, I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I did it more, girl. Uh -huh. And welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brenya. <laughs> so right now it's after work and I'm actually at the DMV thinking that I was about to get something taken care of but found out that I cannot do it here. I have to go to the tag office. But anyways, I have another spin class tonight and I'm so excited. This is actually going to be my third one that I have um, gone to and it has gotten a little bit easier at least it was easier the second time so hopefully today will be even more easy the theme for this one is Kendrick me crazy and so they're supposed to play all Kendrick Lamar I'm super excited like I can just imagine DNA playing and I'm just like spinning to it you know doing the moves <laughs> I have a little friend here that's just she's just there she's she's just She's just present. Hey girl. But anyway, it should be really, really fun. It's at 7.15. Also, the guy who is doing it, I heard about him the very first day that I came in and people were just saying that his classes are just really, really fun. So I am so excited to see about him. Also, y'all, look at my hair. Like, <laughs> my hair needs some help. <laughs> The weird thing about it is I've been getting hit on more this week than usual. And I'm like, what's really going on? This is like that twist out that I showed you guys, but the last, I think the last two nights, I have not twisted it. And so it's just become a limp mess. I just like pin it up on the sides to try to give it some, some style, you know? But yeah, y'all, the struggle is real. And I don't want to wash it because I'm going to spin and it's just like the struggle. So I have to figure out how I'm going to balance uh, spin class and trying to keep my hair cute. If y'all have any ideas on how to keep your hair from like sweating out when you're working out, then please let me know in the comments. I've seen some products where people like pull their hair back and have something over their edges. Like I've seen stuff like that, but do those things like really work? People are staring at me as I'm vlogging. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, now I'm about to head home and I will see you guys in a bit. Y'all, I just rolled up at Chick fil A. They are giving away free eight count grilled chicken nuggets in Atlanta. So, just rolled over here to get me some nuggets, shouty. I'm good. How are you? Good. Here you go, love. Thank you so much. Right, you have a good night, okay? You too. Appreciate it. I got some chicken. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. finished with my yoga class it went really really well it honestly reminded me of why I love yoga so much and how much I need to like get back into it but um yeah I decided to just stop by Urban Outfitters they have these earrings that I really really like in there so I wanted to just pick up a pair of those and then maybe shop their sale rack a little bit <laughs> Out of 
intended. I love to shop their sweater rack like when they're on sale. It's about noon right now and traffic is hectic in the city. So I'm about to try to wait it out and go get some food, I think. I saw Moe's down the street and I love Moe's because it makes me feel halfway healthy <laughs> and it's delicious. So I'm about to go and get some of that and then I'm getting mouse. I'm getting mouse. I'm so excited to eat. And someone's watching me talk to my phone. <laughs> All right, sir, get out of my view of mouse so I can get this shot. <laughs> So I am back home. I took an amazing nap after I got home from yoga slash Urban Outfitters slash eating the Moe's. The Moe's was so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, so good. And it gave me the itis. It knocked me right the freak out. <laughs> and I slept for like an hour and a half. I woke up, watched some Netflix. I finished watching Good Girls and now I'm just watching this show called dynasty shows where it has like powerful families with a lot of like corruption and secrets and lies and stuff like that that's my jam i love those shows like that so um i watched some of that all right guys so this is my last day looking rough like this because i am officially about to go and pick up some hair products i'm about to deep condition this head top and hopefully we can get some beautiful moisturized locks after. You guys see that I'm rocking my glasses today. Just wanted to give my eyes a little break. Contrary to what I usually do, <laughs> I am thinking about going to Publix um, for my hair products. They're probably gonna cost me an arm and a leg but I really, really want some good fruit. I tried Walmart, the fruit is dry. I tried Kroger, the fruit is like kinda sour sometimes. So I'm just gonna have to break down, spend these coins, and go to Publix. <laughs> Publix's fruit, as you may know, I'm sure you know, is always so fresh. I think Publix is only like in the southeastern region of the US though, so maybe not everybody knows about Publix, but Publix is like a supermarket type of store, um, like Walmart or Kroger. They serve lots of like fresh things. Their food and products are of a higher quality, but it's also more expensive because of that. So anyways, I'm gonna go there, get some hair stuff, because I just wanna come back here, do my hair, eat my fruit, and then head out to Barnes & Noble so I can edit, because I am not doing well with editing in my bed, or on my couch, I literally will fall asleep anywhere in my home. So I need to get out of the house and go try and edit so I can get these videos up for you, honey. You know, we gotta we gotta do this. We gotta keep this relationship consistent and going. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to go out and do. I haven't worn my glasses in a really long time, so I'm just kinda enjoying this a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. All right, I'll see you guys at Publix. <laughs> my little man this my good boy yes it is huh? so let me show you guys what i got i'll start with the food products first earlier today i said that i really wanted some fruit and i was talking about how Publix has the best fruit so i ended up getting some of their fruit and y'all this is why i don't do Publix because their fruit is freaking expensive this was five bucks and then this was ten bucks but I got a bunch of watermelon and I really pray that it is so sweet. I'm gonna taste it right after this. 
I did not just get one watermelon. I got two little buckets of watermelon. So my fruit fix is all here. And then I got something from the bakery. I got one of their little twisted cinnamon sugar donuts. These are like one of my favorite things to get from the bakery. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Look, Paco is all. Ooh, I haven't had one of these in forever. So this is how it looks. <laughs> So good. You can't have any, Paco. I'm sorry, baby, you can't have any. Sorry for smacking y'all, but I think smacking makes it taste better sometimes. Mmm, it's so juicy. So good. Mm. Mm. I ended up getting this hair mayonnaise by Africa's Best. And hopefully it will work for me. I just need something to deep condition my hair. And I got this wrap set mousse to help when I do my little twist outs. And then I got a Dr. Pepper because they asked me if I wanted to buy a Pepsi product to help them win a, a competition. I was like, sure. But yeah, so I'm about to go wash my hair now. All right guys, so time for a product review of this product, the Organics by Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise. And there are probably like a billion uh, of these reviews on the internet because I think it's a very popular product. But anyways, I'm gonna tell you what it did for my hair. So, um, actually I, I'm loving it. This is, this is great. Um, it's actually moving, which is kinda what I was worried about with putting a hair mayonnaise in my hair. I was worried about it being a little too heavy and oily because my hair tends to get oily um, without even putting anything in it. But yeah, you guys, I'm very pleased with this outcome. It looks shiny, it feels smooth, like it's flowing, like ah! <laughs> I'm feeling good about this. So yes, that's the review. If you haven't tried this already, I would definitely try it. And we're off to Barnes & Noble to edit. All right, people, made it to good old Barnes & Noble. About to try and get some hardcore editing done out here. You guys have my laptop, my backpack. <laughs> Thank you.